The profound Chinese culture has over 5,000 years of history. The creation and presentation of Chinese art symbolizes the essence of Chinese culture. Thousands of years of heritage provided a canvas for extraordinary developments in painting, calligraphy, ceramics, drama, and literature. Masters in various disciplines enriched each generation. Their fantastic works wove a colorful tapestry for the unique Chinese civilization. This painting of the house is a good combination of such culture and art. With extreme perseverance, the painter completed this great work within one year, despite being 70 years old. Such achievement has never been done before. Furthermore, the 50-meter painting illustrates over 1,000 human figures and depicts flowers, birds, animals, mountain, and water sceneries. And it is the pinnacle of our form. The painting's profound meanings can help to purify human minds and behaviors. This is the best teaching an artist can offer to mankind. Mr. Yi Zijiang, born in 1938, had his first personal exhibition in 1964. In 1965, his painting of Tian Dan Fu Guo won the Education Ministry Award and was presented as a national gift to President Park Chung-hee of South Korea. It is now kept at National Museum of Seoul. Mr. Jiang has won many awards since. At the age of 30, Ms. Jiang realized the vanity of fame and began a low-profile lifestyle. At the time of his first exhibition, his teacher, Mr. Bing Nan Li, emphasized that art should be more than just for enjoyment or decoration. A work of art should be able to purify and move people. That is why Mr. Jiang's later works, although voiceless, contains profound meanings. In the past, Confucius compiled the Book of Spring and Autumn, a historical record of his time. It made those who were immoral fear the consequences of their actions. Today, the painting of scenes of the hell is painted in the hope to remind all of us, including intellectuals, artists, politicians, and conscientious media workers, so that all will understand their responsibilities for our time and humanity and exercise their influence positively to encourage all people to become more humble, modest, and pure. For Mr. Jiang, guiding and changing people's mind through painting remains his wish for all. Guided introduction to the painting of the scenes of the hells. Life is short and impermanent. Our lives depend on the continuation of one single breath. Since there is life, it is inevitable that there will be death. There are lots of questions as to where we will go after we die. Are we going to the world of ultimate bliss? Or are we going to the heavens? Or to the hells? Or to the realms of hungry ghosts? Or are we going to be reincarnated as animals or human beings? Our ultimate destination will depend on the karma that we accumulate in our present lives. The painting of the scenes of the hells displays the truth of human suffering after falling into the vast depth of hells. This particular painting also demonstrates that all human suffering is self-inflicted rather than being imposed by the adjudicators in the hells. After viewing this painting, we should realize that it is truly difficult to be reincarnated back into the human form, and this idea in itself is terrifying to have thoughts that will lead us to those sufferings in the torture of hells. The sutras say that by sincerely confessing and repenting our past sins and misdeeds, we can eliminate misfortunes. Let us remind one another about this. Amitabha Buddha and other sages welcome sentient beings to the world of ultimate bliss. The greatest achievement in one's lifetime is to be reborn in the pure land within this life. 
This will allow us to break away from the perpetual cycle of rebirth and free us from the suffering of both life and death. The world of ultimate bliss is the unsurpassed pure land created by Amitabha Buddha's incomparable willpower with the purpose of ending the sufferings of all beings. If we have the faith, the vow, and the practice in chanting Amitabha mindfully, if we have complete sincerity in our faith, vow, and practice, and we abide by the teaching of Buddha and practice this continually all our lives, therefore at the time when our life comes to an end, the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas will come and lead us to the world of ultimate bliss. Practices of ten good deeds lead to the heavens. If we cannot go to the world of ultimate bliss, however, we accumulate good karma through good deeds within our lifetime, we can still go to the heavens to enjoy heavenly bliss. But these ten good deeds must be observed. What are the ten good deeds? No killing, no stealing, no sexual misconduct, no lying, no enticing speech, no divisive speech, no abusive speech, no greed, no anger, no ignorance. To gain a human form by observing the five precepts. Buddha said, to be born into the human form is unbelievably rare, and the human form once lost is extremely hard to regain. How can one attain the human form in the next life? The basic requirement is to observe the five precepts. What are the five precepts? No killing, no stealing, no sexual misconduct, no lying, no intoxicants. Whether one is rich or poor depends on the amount of good and bad deeds one accumulate within their lifetime. There is a saying that to know what we did in our previous lives, we only need to just look at what we have in our present lives. To know what might result in our future life, we simply look at what we are doing now. It is fundamental that we understand this concept. Practices of 10 Bad Deeds Leading to Suffering in Hells The 10 Bad Deeds are the opposite of the 10 Good Deeds. They are only a few decades